Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, keep in mind that my phone battery is very low. It's about 8% right now. So I'm going to try to make this a really quick video, but I wanted to review the CZE T251, okay? Because uh, this is a BH chip transmitter, and I don't think I've actually done a direct video on a BH chip transmitter yet. So we've got it set to 87.9 with full output power. That's 25 watts. Uh, it's SWR is 1.0. That's correct. Oh, the fan just turned on. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have. Got a 50 watt element in bird. And we've got just a little over 20 watts. About 21 watts. So... You know, it's a little bit less than, than what I would be expecting, given that it says 25 watts, 25.7 on the screen right now. Let's look at the spectrum. And there it is. So, as you can see, the spectrum is pretty clean, and there is one harmonic. I uh, upped the range to see if there was a second harmonic, and absolutely not. There's only one harmonic, and it's very low down. So, uh, I want to find out what it looks like real close in to the carrier. So let's span in, and we're going to see what we get. Okay, I might have to adjust the amplitude as well. Do that. Alright, this is looking pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's 88 kilohertz in. So that's about as far as in as, uh, as I'm going to go. But you can see, the carrier is not moving, or not much at all. There is some noise around the carrier, but not bad. Now, I believe this is with it set to mono. So, let me just check. I believe this is mono mode. Let's change it to stereo. Alright, so we've got frequency, audio volume, mic volume, RF power, stereo mono, temperature, stereo... Come on! Temperature... SWR, mute, and exit. And that's it. So let's go back to here. Change it to stereo. Alright, I didn't see what I did. I don't know what I just did. Come on. This uh, rotary encoder is very glitchy. It's going up, even though I'm turning it down. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, so this, this thing has a very, very glitchy rotary encoder, okay? That's something to definitely note. Alright. So what we should have now is the same frequency, the same power, but with stereo. All right, let's take a look. Yep, the power is the same, just over 20 watts. And here we can see the pilot as well as the 38 kilohertz. Now let's find out if we've got an issue. So I'm going to span out. Yes, see that? Oh, wait. Let's go back. Yeah, there we go. See, that is what you get. That's the porcupine that you get with a BH chip. That's what you get. So you can see that the, uh, the MPX is not being filtered. There should only be one here, one here, one here, one here, and then nothing after that on either side. So there should be just two things on either side of the carrier. That's it. Alright, so now let's check uh, 108. 
All right, here's what it looks like at 108. Um, you can see there is pretty much no harmonic at all. Uh, there's a little bit of spurious there near the carrier, but not bad. Let's see the power. The power is, oh, a little bit higher. 22 watts. 22. And the screen says 26. So that's what we got. The fan went back on again. So the fan turns on and off. Be aware of that. It doesn't stay on constantly. And it is really hot in here, by the way. All right, so let's zoom in on the carrier. All right, here's what it looks like. Just zoomed in a little bit more. Now I'll zoom in all the way for you. And as expected, we have the same thing. <clears throat> so I thought this would be a really good uh, comparison to the uh, GD Broadcast Company's transmitters. As you can see, you know, BH chip transmitters, they're not particularly good either, but they're not nearly as bad as the uh, GD transmitters. Um, I would also say, the fan just went off, um, that when you run them in mono mode, it's fantastic, right? Very, very pure in mono mode. In stereo mode, it spreads out so crazy that you're wasting a ton of your, of, of your power in the sidebands there. So I suppose what I would say is that if you want to use this transmitter, uh, or any transmitter with a BH chip, you know, a BH1415F, a BH1414K, uh, if you're looking at that kind of transmitter, uh, you're going to want to run it in mono mode. You're going to get a lot better performance. So before I close up the video, um, I just wanted to say that I was thinking about filling in the, the gaps with uh, dream recordings. I know that sounds strange. Um, and so I posted a poll on my channel. Uh, so let, let me know what you think about it. They, they will guaranteed be very interesting. Okay. Uh, you know, they tell like an actual story. So, all right. Well, I think that's it. My battery is almost out and I don't want it to, to die on me. So I'm going to stop right here. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.